In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can create and send a certificate of attendance for a attendee attending one of your events. We'll start off inside of Microsoft Word, where I'm going to create a new document from a template. I've searched here for a certificate template to use, and I'm going to use the Certificate of Awesomeness, and click Create. Alternatively, you could create your own certificates here and have them be populated by Power Automate later on. You'll first need to enable developer options in your toolbar for Microsoft Word. To do this, we can come to File, then go to Options, where you can customize ribbon and enable the Developer option from this menu and press OK. We can then select any of the text that we'd like to make into dynamic content, which we can populate inside of Power Automate. With this selected, I'll come to the Developer tab and I'll turn this into a plain text content control. I'll then select Properties and I'll call this Person Name and I'll also populate the tag with the same name as well and press OK. I'll then select another text area and turn this into a plain text content control where I'll assign this the property of Class both populate in the title and the tag and press OK. Now we could customize this however we'd like, but for now I'm just going to save this in a place where I can access it later. So I'll come and save this. I'm going to save this to the document area of my SharePoint site and I've called this my template and I'll press save. Over in SharePoint I've created a list which is where I'm going to store the list of attendees and the class that they've attended. This list contains our title column which will be populated with the user's name and a class where I can populate the class in which they've attended. With that in place, let's head over to Power Automate where we can build our flow. Inside of Power Automate, I'm going to create a new flow and make this an automated cloud flow, which allows me to generate these PDFs and these certificates as and when a user is added to that list. I'm going to use the trigger when an item is created and press create, where I can then point to my SharePoint list. The next step is to populate our Word template with the information that we need. So I'll create a new step and search for populate, pointing to the Word Online Business Connector. Just important to point out that this is a premium connector if you want to use this. I'm going to use populate a Microsoft Word template. We now need to point to the file that we just created in Microsoft Word. So I'll navigate to my SharePoint list to find this. And then we can choose the file from the file selection. Here we can see my template.docx. You can now see we're automatically given the options to add the person name and the class, and this is derived from the tags that we set in Microsoft Word. We can dynamically place the title from when an item is created and the class from the same location. Next, we need to create a file. So I'll add a new action using the create file for the OneDrive for Business. For now, I'll select the folder path as just my root OneDrive file. And I'll give it a file name, utilizing the title and the class, appending docx to the end of it. We can then provide the file content as the Microsoft Word document from the previous step. Next, we need to convert the file. We'll do a search for convert and use convert file for OneDrive for business, where we can then pass in the ID from the create file action above and ensure that the target type is PDF. Now here we have options to do a number of things. We could create the file and save it inside of SharePoint, or we could send it to the user themselves. For now, I'm just going to save the PDF inside of my SharePoint document library. To do this, I'll select new step and search for create file using the SharePoint connector. I'll point it to my SharePoint document library using the shared documents location. We can now give our PDF a new file name. I'm going to stick with the same prefix that we used before by using the title and the class in my file name, ensuring that the extension here is .pdf. And under file content, we can pass in the file content 
from the convert file action above. Let's save our flow and give this a test. I'll come to the test and press manual where it's now expecting a new entry inside of my initial SharePoint list. I'll come to my SharePoint list and let's add some data. I'll put in my name and the class as Cloud365 Workshop and press save. If we head back to our flow, we should see our flow kick into action. And after some brief processing, we can see that our flow has run successfully. Let's go and check our document library where we can now see that we have our new PDF named conadc-cloud365workshop.pdf and on opening this we can see that the information has been populated inside of our template accordingly. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll catch you in the next video.